all agree that this has been a remarkable year, not only in St. Lucia, but also globally. But more than ever, it has forced upon us the need for reflection and renewal. It has been a divisive year for us in St. Lucia. The period leading up to and directly after the general elections in June has left a void in our society. We just don't seem to care for each other as we once did. As we prepare to welcome a new year, my hope for us as a people is that we mature and understand the time and place for party politics. We need to respect the opinions and choices of others, especially when they don't mirror our own. It falls to us and Lucians, an innately compassionate and vibrant people, to heal the wounds of the past. And what better time to start than this season? A time for goodwill to all, red, yellow, green, blue, black, or purple. I encourage each of you to do a good turn for your neighbor. In doing so, you allow your light to shine through others. As parliamentary representative, it is a major responsibility of mine to foster the spirit of goodwill in my constituency of Castro South. It brings me an immense amount of joy to witness the charity and community spirit in my constituency, from Fuasho to Cemetery to Cicero to Goodlands to Ticolo to Bassas Joseph and to Marigo. I am thankful to all my constituents for their support and continued encouragement. I intend in the new year to pursue an aggressive agenda of representation aimed at improving the lives of my constituents. I know it won't be easy, but together we will lobby and act to ensure that government supports the calls for improvements in community infrastructure and in creating job opportunities in prioritizing the youth, attending to the plight of children and caring for the elderly. I, for one, am looking forward to the challenges and rewards 2017 has in store. Season greetings to all my constituents and St. Lucians at home and abroad. God bless.